After this week saw the deadliest bout of violence in more than a month of anti-government protests, demonstrators from across the country have converged here in downtown Lima, the capital, joining civil society groups also in the capital to demand the resignation of Dina Boluarte and her cabinet. They say that they cannot continue in power with, in their words, their hands stayed with blood of the blood of more than 40 civilians and protesters who were who have died in clashes with the security forces in more than a month of unrest. How did this begin? On December the 7th, Pedro Castillo, the former president of Peru, tried to preempt an impeachment vote in Congress by announcing that he would dissolve Congress and rule by decree. That attempt failed. He was arrested and has been jailed on pre in pre-dial detention and charged with rebellion and conspiracy. But his supporters took to the streets in many parts of the country, demanding his release and demanding fresh elections. And as the death toll rose, the, the protests and roadblocks spread across the country. It's now reached a point, many analysts say, where um, the protesters say they will not stop protesting until Dina Boluarte, the president of the country, steps down. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.